which of the following expressions is equal to zero for some value of x. So if we set these all equal to zero, you have to solve so that the absolute value bracket is all by itself, which means you'll add one to both sides here, and for the other three, you'll subtract one. The problem with that is the definition of absolute value is that it's distance from zero, and distance cannot be negative. So all of these would be negative. Not possible. That's why A is the answer. So we split this into the positive and negative solution. On the left, we have 2x minus 4 is equal to 8. On the right, we have 2x minus 4 is equal to negative 8. We're going to add 4 to every side. We have 2x is equal to 12. 2x is equal to negative 4. Then we're going to divide everything by 2. This gives us x is equal to 6, which is the positive solution. And x is equal to negative 2, which doesn't matter. That's the negative solution. What is a possible value of x minus 1? So if we split this, there's two possible values. x minus 1 is equal to a positive 8, or x minus 1 is equal to a negative 8. There's our answer. Again, we have this scenario where something plus 1 is equal to 0. If we subtract 1 from both sides, we'll end up with the absolute value of n minus 1 is equal to negative 1. There's no such value because the definition of absolute value is distance from 0. Can't be negative. First thing we do is subtract 4 from both sides to get the absolute value bracket all by itself. Once we do that, we're going to split into the positive and negative solutions. And then we're going to add them together. So we have 2x plus 6 is equal to 4. 2x plus 6 is equal to negative 4. We'll subtract 6 from every side. So we have 2x is equal to negative 2. 2x is equal to negative 10. And we'll divide everything by 2. Here we have x is equal to negative 1, or x is equal to negative 5. If we add those two together, it goes further negative, negative 6. So we have a positive and a negative solution. So 5 minus x is equal to 4, or 5 minus x is equal to negative 4. If we subtract 5 from every side, we end up with negative x is equal to negative 1, negative x is equal to negative 9. If we divide out the negative, we have x is 1 and x is 9. They tell you that one of the solutions is 1. What's the other? The answer is 9. What positive value satisfies the given equation? So if we split this, we have x plus 1 is equal to 5, or x plus 1 is equal to negative 5. Subtract 1 from both sides, we have 4 and negative 6. So the answer is 4. We have two solutions here the positive solution and the negative solution. If we subtract 1 from both sides, we have 2x is 4, 2x is negative 6. If we divide by 2, we have 2 and negative 3. So given these two solutions, we're going to take the absolute value of 2 minus a negative 3, or 2 plus 3, which is just 5. And there's our answer. The definition of absolute value is distance from zero, which will never be negative. So this one has zero solutions because negative four is on the right side of the equation. So if this is our number line and here is negative 4, if I go 3 to the left, I'm at negative 7. If I go 3 to the right, I'm at negative 1. 
if I plug these into this equations, negative 1 here is not going to work. Negative 1 here is not going to work. If I plug in negative 7 here, it's not going to work. A is the only one that works for both. So I can solve both of these equations for their positive and negative solutions. On the left here, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And then I divide by 2. And the right here, I'm going to add 3 to both sides and divide by 3. If you plug in the different values for x and y into the absolute value brackets, it's possible to get an answer of 3, it's possible to get an answer of 1, an answer of 12, or an answer of 4. Any of these is correct.